Hey guys, in previous video, we learn about universal CSS class and in this video, we will see visited pseudo class selector in CSS. The visited pseudo class selector can change some of the styling of an anchor tag element if the user's browser has already visited the link. It means to help the users distinguish the difference between links they have and they haven't visited. So, the syntax will be like anchor tag visited and some class. Okay. So, this will be syntax. There are some limitations for this visited pseudo class. There is some privacy concern about visited, namely that a malicious website could have links to tons of websites with visited styling then the test visual style of the links with javascript to report back to a server which sites the user had visited this violates the user's privacy and it can be potentially reveal personal identifying information as a result most browsers restrict what styling can be changed on visited links and what styling information can be reported with the get computed style javascript method Okay, there are some properties that you can change with visited color, background color, border color and its sub properties, outline color and the color parts of fill and stroke properties. You can only use visited to change those properties if the link already has them in the unvisited or link state. You can't use it to add properties that aren't already present on the link. For example, you can change the background color of a visited link if the link element already had a background color. You can't add a background color to a visited link if it did not have a background color when it was an unvisited link. Okay, link pseudo class is useful to know that most of the link pseudo classes should be declared in a specific order. So, what is the order for that? So, order will be like let me note down here the first will be link okay. the second will be visited so it should be in this order only the third will be over okay and the fourth will be active if you are including focus styling for your link it's common to add it between hover and active okay so this is the point you should keep in your mind while using this visitor property. Okay. Let's see one example. Let's say we have an anchor tag with class some class. Okay. Or let's say product. Product is a class name and get product is the link. So let me add some link the href https and google.com. So, this is the link, the default link. Okay. So, when I'm, uh, let me add this target is equal to underscore blank. It will open in the next, in the uh, separate tab. Okay. So, when you click, it will open the google.com. So, when I'm clicking, the look and feel of this anchor tag is not updated. Okay. That's where this visited pseudo class is used so here anchor tag dot class name and visited here what you can do you can give a background background color let's say red and color white Okay, so once you click, it will open the link. Mm. Yeah. So it is not working as expected. Yeah, because by default, the anchor tag is style with this color. Okay, so we already have this visited uh, this link once, so that's why this 
color is getting applied this color okay let me give the red so once it is diluted you can see this is already red so to taste it again let me add another anchor tag with another product and on dia tag so anchor tag is same okay uh, let me change it to some uh, other url like uh, take overflow.com okay so last name is still same so it won't make any difference another product is a class and let me change another product visited and color to some teal color okay so right now the default color is blue but once we click and it is already visited and that's why uh, let's see here it should show this visited yeah this is a visited so it should apply this visited property here it should be somewhere it's not showing at this moment not sure why but visited property should be there so that's why this teal color is showing so uh, this is the idea behind this visited css pseudo class and about the uh, browser support it supports uh, supports almost all the browsers and uh, it is very common to use uh, in your web pages all right thanks for watching if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and if you have something to say please leave a comment that's all thank you